Hey guys, here's the nasal. Today we're going to talk about which air-to-ground weapons are most used by players. Here, I have separated a top five list that I have seen many players use on servers. So, don't forget to comment, give your like, and subscribe. Let's go. The weapon most used on servers is the GBU-12, Paveway 2. Many people use it because it became very well known in the 90s, in the Gulf War, where laser bombs were widely used, being one of the main smart weapons used by the USA. Another reason why players love it is because of its use together. The JTAC does the work of illuminating the target, so the pilot just has to enter the laser code and drop the bomb, even in adverse conditions. In other words, it is not necessary to program many things or know how to use TT. However, the player depends on having the JTAC service available on the server. But nowadays, almost all servers have it. As it is possible to carry a huge amount, due to its small size, it is one of the weapons most used to destroy vehicles on the ground by players. Here's the Maverick, one of the most beloved weapons by players and pilots. That's because it's one of the few air-to-ground missiles, and firing a missile is always cooler than dropping a bomb. The F-16 and A-10 have the particularity of being able to carry six of these missiles, which helps the Maverick to be one of the most used weapons on these aircraft. The AGM-65 has several versions. However, the version that players like to use is the infrared-guided version. The Maverick is a versatile missile and can be used against light vehicles, tanks, ships, and structures. And who doesn't remember that scene from the movie True Lies when the Harriers fire those missiles? Crazy. Sitting in a cockpit, being able to choose a target on a screen and fire one of these missiles is the achievement of anyone who once dreamed of being a combat pilot. The next air-to-ground weapon on the list is the JDAM, GBU-38. This is a smart weapon that is guided by GPS. Its small size allows players to carry a large amount of it, which also makes it ideal for destroying vehicles and tanks. One of its great advantages is that due to its GPS guidance, the pilot does not need to keep the TGP on target at all times. This allows you to drop not just one, but two, three, four, several bombs in a single pass on the target. This is the one I use most.
This is the Harm, the most famous anti-radar missile. It was also one of the weapons most used by the United States in the Iraq wars. It has this very peculiar characteristic of being completely white, easy to identify if a fighter is carrying it. For many, it is a wild card. When a player doesn't know which weapon to choose, he simply takes two of them and goes into combat. Surely he will find some enemy Sam to kill. It's an easy weapon to use. For example, the F-16 has a pod that allows us to choose with the cursor which target we want to attack. The F-18 also has several easy ways to use this powerful weapon, allowing us to fire several missiles in sequence. Destroying SAMs is always necessary. Fifth, the JSAW, an extremely powerful weapon. It has a modern design that makes it difficult to be detected by enemy radars. Despite not having propulsion, it is considered a missile because it can reach great distances due to its wings that open after the drop. It is widely used by players, both to destroy fortified structures and to destroy sands. It has a penetration version and another with cluster ammunition. As it is possible to drop at great distances, it is very safe because the pilot does not need to approach areas protected by enemy missiles. Since it appeared, it has become a favorite for many. Now, we couldn't miss our honorable mention for the cluster bombs. We couldn't not talk about them. These were, are, and will continue to be the favorites of many. Due to the way it works, it is widely used. Its characteristic is that it can internally transport dozens or even hundreds of mini bombs. When the cluster bomb reaches a set height, it opens and spreads these mini bombs, causing great damage over a large area. It is very effective against light vehicles, SAMs, or people. Being in a place where a cluster bomb has been dropped is like being in hell. I pay attention to the terrifying CBU-97 and CBU-105 cluster bombs. These contain a type of ammunition that, when released, drops with a mini parachute. When it gets close to the ground, its system activates and causes the charges to spin up and begin scanning targets on the ground. Once found, they activate their rockets and quickly descend, hitting the targets. It's a nightmare.
We now reach the end of our top five list. Feel free to comment whether you agree with it or not. If you would remove and add other weapons, what air to ground weapon do you use most? I said what's mine. Put in the comments which one is your favorite. Don't forget to give your like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Thanks. See ya.